besides adjusting lighting and tonal values, as well as smoothing and sharpening areas in photos, we can also use the camera raw filter in Photoshop to make colors pop. So go ahead and open up princess.jpg. Press Control J on the PC, Command J on the Mac to duplicate the layer. So we can compare the before and after, and in case we need to adjust the effect with opacity or masking. Go ahead and go to Filter, and then Camera Raw Filter. And then on here we want to go to this fourth tab, HSL, short for Hue, Saturation, Luminance, slash Grayscale. And go to Saturation first. I just want to show you. Uh, we can bring the reds out in this one. Don't want to go too far, but it really makes her hair, lips, and her cheeks there pop out a little bit more. Oranges we can bring up a little bit. So experiment with that. If you're following along with me, you can try this. Or if you have another photo, go ahead and try moving the values left and right and see what you can come up with. If you go to Hue, uh, we can really mess up the photo pretty easily. I mean, if you go away to the left or way to the right. Uh, you can adjust that, but really, I mean, your yellows are going to become really green if you go way to the right, way oranges if you go way to the left. Uh, in this example where we just want colors to really pop, I suggest just doing the saturation. The luminance, we can adjust the, the lighting of it as well. So if you bring the oranges, make it a little bit brighter, and not just more saturated, but brighter as well. So that's the difference between the saturation and the luminance. You can see it pop out a lot there. It's meant to be subtle, so I'm going to hit OK. And here's before, and then here's after. And if you think it's too strong after the fact, this is why I work on a duplicated layer. We can just change the opacity there to make it more subtle. And that's how you make colors pop in the camera raw filter.